Match officials made Indiana Fever to lose their Friday game against Minnesota Lynx. The Indiana Fever's five-game win streak came to an end with a tough 99-88 loss to the Minnesota Lynx on September 6th at Gainbridge Fieldhouse. Despite heading into halftime with a 50-45 lead, the Fever couldn't maintain their momentum as the Lynx opened the second half with a 7-0 run and never looked back. This marks the second time since the Olympic break that the Fever have lost, with both losses coming against Minnesota. Caitlin Clark, the Fever star rookie, had a standout performance with 25 points, 8 rebounds, and 8 assists. However, she also expressed visible frustration with the officiating throughout the game. SB Nation's Jacob Rood noted a key moment when Fever fans booed the refs after an offensive foul call and Clark encouraged them to get even louder. After finally drawing a foul in the third quarter, Clark sarcastically applauded the refs, leading to concerns that her frustration might earn her a sixth technical foul. Clark, who already has five technicals on the season, is just two away from an automatic one-game suspension, which has fans on edge as the fever head into the final stretch of the regular season. James Boyd from The Athletic observed Clark's intense interactions with the officials, tweeting, I thought Caitlin Clark was going to get teed up on a few occasions while arguing with the refs. Fans echoed that concern, with one pleading, Calm down, Caitlin Clark. We don't need a technical. Fortunately for the fever, Clark avoided a technical and remains eligible for the next game. Aaliyah Boston also contributed a strong performance with 20 points, 5 rebounds, and 2 assists, though her night was marked by frustration with the officiating as well. Boston was assessed her third technical foul of the season after reacting to a no-call while being heavily defended by Bridget Carlton and Nafisa Collier. Like Clark, Boston's accumulation of technicals could lead to a suspension if she reaches 7. With five games remaining in the regular season, the Fever, now 18-17, to are fighting for playoff positioning and can't afford to lose either of their key rookies to suspension. They'll have a chance to bounce back quickly when they face the Atlanta Dream on September 8th. The Fever's success may depend on how well Clark and Boston can manage their emotions and avoid technical fouls as the stakes get higher.